What's going on, all you hashtag PVT friends and family from all over the United States of America and the state of Texas. Muchas gracias por su apoyo. And I want to thank all the new pledges this week on our Patreon link. RJ De Leon, Jose G, Jason and Isela Reyes from San Elizario, Texas. Un saludito para ellos. We got to meet them in person allí in San Elizario when my band Whiskey D went out there and headlined the Riding for Boobs motorcycle rally and run, man. It was awesome, beautiful. Un pueblito, raza, bien bonito. Y pues muchas gracias a Jason and Isela Reyes for getting some shirts uh, from hashtag PVT. Antonio Crispin, también un saludo. Y para Arnie Garcia, thank you so much for being a pledge. And the only time I'm going to be giving out these shirts is this month of March. So if you want to be part of it and you want to get this exclusive limited edition collector's item, hashtag PVT shirt, pues I think you better start pledging. Go to the Patreon link, the one that's right down there below in the description. Click on it and become a member and get that shirt and some other goodies también, ya sabes. Vamos a continuar con el show con Anthony Michael Hall, the 16 Candles, man. Check this out. So there's this uh, this idea that if you openly support like Donald Trump or President Trump, right, mm -hmm. that you'll be you'll you'll lose work in Hollywood. Is that is that yeah. true, man? You know, what's interesting. That's uh, I. That's something I'm aware of. For me, it's nothing I really have to deal with because, quite honestly, I look myself as someone who kind of sits on the perimeter. When I do my work, I go to it. But I don't, I don't really intermingle with the system that much, mm -hmm. to be very honest. But I, I am aware of that. I do think you so. see it? Do you see I it? I do. I think that because I think a lot of people are just very very much the same in their in their viewpoints. You yeah. know? And our country's based on freedom, as you said. You know, And it's yeah. the United States. We're... we're we're beneficial, you know. We're we're allowed to benefit from these great things that the country provides us, but we should also be able to th free think. You yeah, know? and uh, so I'm with you. I'm so you don't get that. into any type any po politics or any type. No, no. I think Trump is great. I think what he's done for the country is incredible. Mm -hmm. and the military and his support of the military. I mean, the economy's booming. I mean, there's so many great things. That Had you ever met him in person? You know, I worked for him years ago with that Miss Teen USA. Oh, thing. that's right. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, I thought he was I thought he was fantastic. You know. Um, but I think what he's done for the country is undeniable. I think he's really done a lot of uh, really good work. Yeah. I was talking with Bobby, the guy from uh, Collector Mania, at, uh, you know, about uh, what's going on right now with the impeachment and all that stuff. And, and um, I, was, I was mentioning, this is my opinion, I don't know, sure, but sure. it's that uh, it's, there's three parties right now. There's the Republican side, there's the Democrat side, and then the Democrats are cut in half because you have your corporatist, uh, you know, uh, Democrats like Pelosi, and uh, and then you have your Bernie Sanders. Right. And the problem is, is that the Sanders people won't vote for Biden, and the Biden people won't vote for Sanders. So yeah. then they're there. I think they understand that. So they're going through some desperate measures to try to affect whatever the election's coming up mm -hmm. or the Republican Party by calling them cover-ups and stuff like that. So yeah, I yeah. think that's, it's not, what they're doing is not because they want to do it, it's because they have to do it because yeah. their party is kind of having a schism problem right yeah. now. So yeah. I don't know, man. No, I kind of see it the same way. I do. Yeah. I think you just look at results and I think our economy is so much stronger for so many reasons and it's so great to see factories coming back and production and you know, him taking care of the farmers, all kinds of great things. So, you know, yeah. you always judge a person or anyone by, by action. And I think it's very impressive what he's done in concert with our great military. You know, I'm really patriotic and proud of our great country and its military. So uh, I see only great results. And yeah. you were in New York. That's where uh, he came from. Too, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So from here on in, you do these special appearances and also? Yeah, or? we just put this tour together. It was like two weeks, and it just kind of came together really quickly and nicely. And uh, we started in Oklahoma, and we had some sold-out shows there. And then we came down here to Texas and just really enjoying it. The people are great here. Uh, over the years, I've been here a few times. We did Johnny Be Good back in the day in 87. Yeah. And then uh, shot a picture in Austin about six years ago called Results. So I love it, you know. Mm -hmm. And it stemmed from doing the Q&As at the Comic-Cons and having a blast with it. I've never been a stand-up comic, but just having fun with the audience, man, taking questions and, yeah. and goofing off. and. 
So we figured, like, let's put this tour together. You know, that's where it kind of came yeah. from. So I'm having a great time with it. Yeah. I would yeah. think that being a, co a comedic actor would be yeah. just as easy as becoming, I mean, or just the same as being a stand-up comic. Well, you know what it was, man? Growing up, I love, like, uh, I'm sure, you know, all these guys, like George Carlin, Richard Pryor, those guys were my heroes, man. I'd be listening to them in my, you know, my room. Yeah. You know, I'd be listening to rock and roll, Van Halen, and then, you know, listen to those guys. So I loved comedy all We those. must have hung out, man. I don't yeah, know. man. We had a little similar taste. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, because I had those Richard Pryor albums, right? you know, and uh, yeah. I I had those Van Halen albums and right. all that good stuff. Yeah, like so they kind of stem from that, just being funny and goofy. And that's what John Hughes responded to me as a kid. So this just kind of came up very organically, man. And it's uh, and it's great. So fans are coming out, they're watching a movie. Then I do a live Q and A for about an hour, mm -hmm. and then we do a meet and greet. And it's uh, it's been beautiful, man. It's been a lot that's of fun. Great, yeah, man. Yeah, well, man, I appreciate you coming over to my humble abode here, in my great studio. To be here, man. Yeah. And we have uh, Anthony Michael Hall. Where can we follow you on social media, man? So it's uh, AMH for Real on Instagram, mm -hmm. and I got a website, the AnthonyMichaelHall dot com. Kind of kind of funny. And yeah, man, fans can look for Halloween Kills in the fall, and uh, do another episode of the Goldbergs. And uh, launching a production company this year, so thank God things are good. Well, the wonderful thing is, in the profession you're in, you can work till you're a hundred, man. Yes, sir. I saw, and we will. I saw Harvey Cattell on The Irishman, <laughs> man. That guy's eighty something. Wasn't that a picture? That great, was a great movie, movie, dude. Yeah, great yeah. stuff. And yeah, they man. use some of the uh, uh, computer generated stuff Wasn't on their amazing? faces yeah, yeah. to kind of de-age them. I yeah, saw that. Those man. We love my it. favorites. Yeah, yeah. Scorsese is Anthony best. Michael yeah. Hall, right here. Hashtag PVT, right. Professional Valley Talks. Susta me one tap.